comments on this video are great. It's just, this is, this is raw, unedited. Because you know what? I'm upset because I want this bike and there's like two videos on YouTube and no reviews. It's the only bike that has a dual shear, dual bearing, dual wiper seal, idler pulley. Every single bearing has an individual grease port. It's moment to be remembered. This is one of the moments of all time. What do we got here? What kind of bottom bracket is that? Oh, oh. Wait, let me get this wide angle. <laughs> Bro, I'm dead. I'm dead. Who put the QR clamp? I... This? 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 This, 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 this. Guys, uh, new bike day, pretty much. I got a frame. I don't know if anyone else in America, the Americas, what do you call it again? United, 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 United. Who's Bernard Kerr? My brother. Apparently it's 90 degrees right now. That's a lie from the pit. Guys, deviate to steer away from the common path. Does this look like steering away from the common path? Because it is. Deviate, it's cool. Green, the color of new beginnings, it's biblical, look it up. Deviate, that's what we as Christians do. We go away from the normal path. And by away from the normal path, I mean installing our force up right now. We're gonna build a bike. It's so good, I'm not even gonna ride wrap it. I don't even wanna touch it. Oh, reduced offset. Look at this. It's like in line with the... <laughs> I could put this on backwards and no one would know. Reduced offset because, guys, it's not about changing wheelbase. It's not. It's about steering and suspension performance. Okay. Everyone should have a reduced offset fork in their bike. And I'm telling you because I know. Just kidding, I don't. I've actually never run one. Tips and tricks. Zip tied my limit screws. Okay. Better bolts. Better bolts on stem. In there, I swear there's one in there. Yep, you can see it. I'm not lying. I uh, better bolts on grips. This? These things actually save a lot of weight. I would go and pick some up. Thanks, Piggy. Gave me a nice seat. Stock hardware is actually titanium on this bad boy. Better bolts. Better bolts. Uh, let's see. Uh, better bolts. Better bolts. Better... Oh, better bolts. And look at that cassette. Oh my gosh. Should I cut it? You should probably cut it. Just, you know, I can't skip this part because everybody wants to hear that little crunchy thing it does at the end. Can you believe people use a hacksaw for this? Yeah. That just blows my M. I and D. Mine. I do forget I'm using that. Oh, there it is. Watch this, ready? Oh! Checking it, we're good. I don't like your work, it's sloppy. Shut up. Who do you want to see? Go watch G Milner, dude. Shut up, it's cardboard. Oh my gosh, my grease gun's clogged. Pump it up, pump it up. What if I just shove the bearings in like that? Because you know how everybody wants that, everybody wants that shot where I like take my finger and like do this with it? What if I just plop the bearings right in there? You guys would click out of the video. You didn't do the thing that everyone else does. The Worldwide Cycler, he told me to... I should stop roasting everyone. Sound like whistling people. Um, pork is one of these. I'm gonna make sure everything gets thoroughly juiced up there. Uh, I bought this gold space right here to match the rest of the bike. It's forty dollars. <laughs> Does it look like I'm in a hurry? Racing EWS tomorrow. <laughs> Aww. 
Is that on your shirt? Huh? Oh yeah! It's literally me. Huh? Thanks. Where should I put the bar roll? Here? Here? Or here? Huh? We don't need this anymore. These polished cranks, so I'm gonna go put my fingerprints on them right in front of the camera. Punishable by death. Death Blast Conqueror! Yo, what does your shirt say? Death Blast Conqueror! Accidentally bought a 34 tooth. This? This? I bet the last thing you're expecting me to pull out was a torque wrench. <laughs> That's 52. Just got the torque specs all memorized. Oh, check this out. Ready? So this is how you, because you set your torque wrench back to zero. So you put it in reverse, and then you just unwind it. Oh! What in the Fox factory is going on here? $700 for a tuning guide. Ruin your day, are you ready? GoPro, start recording. Oh, the GoPro next to your computer just started recording. Check this out, no tune ID. That's how you know we're factory. Can you see that? Can you see that? No. Step one, pull the decals off. Really? Really? Orange? Are you serious? We're just pulling it off on the on the resi, the reservoir. Speaking of reservoirs, shout out to California. All the reservoirs are empty. <laughs> Let out the air from your Fox shock slowly. What if I just took the valve core out? <laughs> oh, it sucked down, dude. Check the term. All the air's out. Put a volume spacer in here. Check. Your hand back on. You always put the, the opening and the clip away from all the keyed spots on the air can. See that? There's a key there, a key there. So you want the opening far away from it. I hope the comments on this video are great. It's just, this is, this is raw, unedited. Because you know what? I'm upset. Because I want this bike, and there's like two videos on YouTube and no reviews. And it has the best geometry. Out of any high pivot, it literally has the best geometry. Look it up. <laughs> Wait a second. That doesn't fit. So the shock doesn't fit, so... <laughs> <laughs> yeah, if you wanted me to do it the right way... Oh, gosh! You would have sent the right parts. <laughs> These things are coming out of here like 800 miles an hour. It's called improvising. Let's see if it fits now. Boom. Fits. <laughs> Fight me in the comments below. Take the decals off your fork. <laughs> decals make you slower. What's the torque spec on? Ooh. Dropping grease bolts in the carpet. Look, get a close up of this. Story of my life. <laughs> That'll work. If you want to sketchy bike builds or some Sam Pilgrim, <laughs> now I really have an arguing point, like, because that guy puts bikes together and he'll probably backflip over your mom. Dark chocolate covered hazelnuts. Okay. Poopy. Um. Slick honey. Not to be mixed. So. Hey, what's that? I swear, if somebody asks me what this is, I'm gonna lose my mind. What is it? You. Everybody knows what a Fox 38 is. Everybody knows what high pivot is. Everybody knows what E rings are. Everybody knows who Better Bolts is. So what's that? You guys that? know all this stuff, and you don't know what this is. Is that like a like a negative air chamber or something? Mm -hmm. What what's it do? Why does it I move mean, like that? I don't know what I get last more. What is this, or what are these? You know these bars are seven years old. Don't talk too much, or you'll break stuff. Per directions of force front. Anyway, it's force front teaching. Look it up. Oh, the truth. Does a 
reduced offset fork fit. Do it again. No. It's the oil being forced through the channels and the bushings into your foam rings. How sick is that? Pretty sick. Right, let's check and see if we got play. No. What do you know? Bushings are good. <laughs> Where'd you get the silver caps? Leave a comment. Maybe I'll sell you. I won't. <laughs> uh, <laughs> uh, confirmed. Loctite 638 wicking compound will stop the creaking on your fork, stanchion, steer tube. So I do. Listen to the hum. I hate it. Let me it's guess. So loud. Let me guess. Somebody wants to know what hub that is. All right, Mister. Mr. DT350 on reserve wheels. Now we're gonna put some brakes on and maybe we'll weigh it. We'll weigh your mom. Your mom is so fat. <clears throat> she stepped on the scale and it said to be continued. <laughs> 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 Normally it's like she steps on the scale and it shows the infinity sign, switch infinity. Hold on, let me talk to the camera. Uh, oh, I think I found one. Auto, PM203. We haven't touched these brakes for 16 months and they were fine. But I have coats and I bled them this one? Yeah, well, you have to bleed them. <laughs> That's your first problem. These, you don't ever have to bleed them. Ever. Bleed them, I dare you. You'll probably die. <laughs> Twice. This is the best tool in the world. Just so you know, when you chew rotors, you're not supposed to grab the braking surface. But Colin, I. I no, don't grab the braking surface. I have an ice tech rotor. Don't grab the braking surface. Yeah. Uh, we're in the middle of making a video. Okay, and you're in the middle of... And what do you think? Look at you. I love it. Look at your nails. I Ball time? I really, really like it. Ladies and gentlemen, the other trick. Ask me what this is. I dare you. What's that? Tessa tape. Wh what's that? What? What? Huh? That will take a good length. We'll give it a little bonus. We'll do a dry fit. Hi. Oh. <laughs> it's important. Because the ladies are the ones that pick the colors. It looks amazing. You wore matching a pants for the occasion. The devious Ooh. green. Another trick, hold the line because the TRPs, they, they twist once you start getting it tight. And it'll throw a weird loop in your hose. There we go. Silver kind of ties in yeah. the brakes and then the caps. Bicycle movement systems. How about that progressive bottom out bumper that Fox has? I like that. Shout out to Claire. She's been filming for nine hours. So basically, we need a chain guide because look at this. Look. There's like nine teeth engaged. Sometimes. If you want to get it your way, you, you just, you have to do it your way. I mean, that clears. I think we're just going to have to <coughs> send it. Got this little dude hickey. And frame clearances are way too tight, so we're going to go ahead and cut it yonder. Yonder. Straight across there. And then probably about right there, we'll give that a nice little curved edge to make it look factory. Please don't look too close. Let the blade do the work, okay people? Look at my eyes. Let the blade do the work. Look that edge out. Stop pushing down in the bike stand to get your cranks off. 
Because, like, it's not good for the bike standing in the seat. Praying hands. Lord, help me get these cranks off. <gasps> it works. See, prayers do get answered. We made it work. Big old SRAM pulley on there. Sheet metal bracket. Custom made, drilled, cut by yours truly. So we needed to get it tilted down enough to clear the 34 tooth. Looks like that works. Yep. Yep. <laughs> 